Another huge tradition here is the turkey trot in Troy. The event went on without a hitch despite yesterday's bout with snow. But you know, it took a lot of effort to keep the trot on time. Lynn Falsetti takes us to the Collar City. It's like a winter wonderland out here, so it gives you a little extra. These runners braved the elements to take part in a piece of Troy Thanksgiving history. But the race almost didn't go on. Yesterday's snowstorm raised some concerns for those setting up. Normally we would get rain uh, at this time of year. So it created uh, difficulty for everyone involved. It's hard to imagine after showing you all the snow we had on Wednesday that this pathway would be totally clear. The course, however, is clear of snow. Crews were working throughout the early morning hours to make sure there were no slick spots. We were unable to set up any of our equipment that we had planned on setting up through, you know, nine, uh, six to nine. So we ended up uh, postponing that until this morning. And the call came in around 4.30 this morning that the show would go on and the course was clear. And according to organizers, the runners came out in full force. They were afraid the weather would mean some wouldn't show. But this year's 10K broke records with 1,500 hitting the pavement, the most they've had in the Turkey Trot's 67-year history. Mackie Lloyd was the first to cross the finish line. He says the conditions were just fine. Um, they weren't bad. They were nice. Um, there's only a few icy parts. Um, the crews did a great job last night. Fine. No problem at all. They did a great job. The Turkey Trot hasn't been canceled because of the snow since 1971 when the city got a whopping 22 inches of snow. In Troy, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. Thankfully, we didn't have that much this time around. The folks who took part in the turkey trot raised more than 11,000 bucks for the Regional Food Bank of Northeastern New York and the Joseph's House and Shelter. Speaking